Hello and welcome to the video and thank you for checking out the channel. Uh, I am the Cosmic Turtle and this is, oh I did the wrong one, uh, this is the continuation of my Dragon Ball Z Kakarot playthrough on the Xbox Series X hard mode. Uh, so we are literally just about to start the Boo Saga or I suppose we're about to start the intermission in between the Android and the Boo Saga. Hopefully this one's not so long. I, I can't remember. I have uh, played it once before at least. I might, no, I've played Kakarot twice, but I, I still can't remember. Um, somewhere here. Yeah, so we literally just beat Gohan. Uh, not Gohan. Um, uh, Perfect Cell. And now we're just gonna we're gonna keep going with it. We're gonna keep rolling. Quiet, Bulma. What are we doing here? Head towards Kami's lookout. Alright. I could do that. Yeah, so with this particular playthrough, we're mainly doing it just for the fun of playing through Dragon Ball Z again. Um, and also just to experience the hard mode. I'm not doing side quests or grinding out levels and stuff. So if I get stuck uh, and I have to do a fight a few times, it is what it is, really. I guess uh, it's happened once or twice in the playthrough. Not too often, uh, not too often, though. Thankfully. Wait a minute. Before we carry on, did they automatically assign Super Saiyan 2? Yeah, they did. Cool. Gonna make sure that. Uh... Wait a minute. You can assign another one. Oh, there he has one. There we are. Check that on. Can we upgrade anything? Can't even upgrade Super Saiyan. Level 60 to upgrade Super Saiyan. And then 70 for that. 70 and then 80. And what are you? Power Unleashed. Super Dragon Flight. Crushing Strike. Oh, there you are. Level 2 Kamehameha. I didn't notice that. Alright, there we are. That will do. So if you have to beat Piccolo, we'll be ready for him now with a level 2 Kamehameha. But if you end up enjoying this, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It would really help me out. And if you're on Twitch, please consider following. You can't explain why you're trying to uh, continue your training. I uh, decided to go for a, uh, an earlier stream today. But uh, this stream is the one but last stream for Kakarot for a little bit of time while um, while I start playing through Spider-Man from the 20th onwards. I can't wait for that. It's going to be so much fun. The reviews. Um, like I've seen a little bit of reviews here and there and it seems to be just nothing but positive, which I really hope that's the case. Because God, the, the God of War on PS4 I thought was amazing. God of War Ragnarok I thought was just derivative and very little about it, like, you know, excited me in a sequel. Horizon Zero Dawn I thought was a really good game. Forbidden West I thought was a load of shite. The Last of Us I thought was a phenomenal game. The Last of Us Part 2 I thought was pure trash. So PlayStation's sequels in recent years have not been hitting the mark for me. That's right, boy. That being said, though, another PS5 or PlayStation exclusive, I'm expecting the new Final Fantasy to be amazing. When that comes out in... Um, uh, what's it called? Is it February it comes out? Rebirth? I know this isn't a PlayStation exclusive, but there's also Jedi Fallen Order to Jedi Survivor 
it's not a, as good a game. So it's a thing that's happening a lot recently with games where just the sequel is just not as good as the original. Like me personally, I thought I, I quite enjoyed Halo Infinite, especially compared to Halo Five. Um, what about Gears of War Five? I enjoyed as well, especially because Gears of War Four I thought was not not very great because I didn't enjoy just fighting robots the whole time or ninety percent of the time. But they're also not even that new. Well, Halo Infinite is, but Gears 5 is not that new, so... Gears 6 will be the one to determine if Xbox falls into this whole trap. But the new Fable looks like it's going to be trash, so... And that will hit... That, that will hurt. That will hurt more than most games being released and just not appealing to me. Although Tears of the Kingdom doesn't follow the trend, because that game is amazing. Oh! <laughs> oh! I'll beat the arrogance out of you, coming from the most arrogant man in Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, you're gonna disrespect Vegeta by not starting in Super Saiyan 2? Alright, let's, uh, let's check something here. Alright. So that was like, uh, just shy of two foods to the health bar. Let's get a bit closer to it. It feels like it doesn't do all that much more or less damage. He does look badass as hell, though, doesn't he? Right, come on, Vegeta. I was trying to get close to you so I could uh, Mix up a bit and not just have me shooting Kamehameha as I do the entire fight. Oh. Try this again! The time is over, old man. It's time to die. Makes me sick. Hey, really? Oh, I didn't think I did that bad. I let Vegeta hit me a few times because I was being a goof when I tried charging when I should have went on the defensive. Liar. I'm going to be the Sorcerer Supreme! Oh, what's the matter here? You could kill your mum in a heartbeat if she ever gave you too much shit, you know, which you would never do that, because in Chi Chi we trust. But I'm just going to skip this. To be fair, if nothing else, you know Chi Chi is going to get you uh, into a very good uh, school. It's so bizarre. I seen a thing uh, on Facebook just now about people commenting on how um, Akira Toriyama sent words of encouragement to Taite Kubo when he uh, nearly gave up on Bleach. 
And people are putting comments on like, uh, saying, oh, I read this interview, but for the life of me, I can't find it. And then everyone's like, yeah, because it's a lie, it's not real. And it's not a lie, it's in the fucking manga. I think the person just forgot that's where he read it. But if you, because I recently read it, and the only reason I could have recently read it is in a manga. Because I've been reading Bleach again. The only other reason is it was in a YouTube video, but... Like, it's in the Bleach manga where he tells you about having to go to, um... Like, he got invited to Japan by... I think he was... It was the guy who discovered Toriyama. I can't remember what his job was for Toriyama. And the guy, like, embarrassed him holding Volume 1 of Dragon Ball and Volume 1 of... Um, I think it was Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Or... Yeah, well, I'm sure it was Jojo. It was either Jojo or Fist of the North Star. But I think it was Jojo. And he, like, basically mocked the guy saying, Oh, yeah, read these and learn how to make a good manga. And then, um, like, he eventually done his first draft of Bleach. And it was good... And they said, like, um, I can't remember if they told him at the time, but the uh, the thought was, it's good, but he can do better, so we don't want to submit this to Shueisha because they might turn him down. So he needs to just refine it a little bit more, and then we're, we're all gold, like, you know, we're ready to go. But Taite Kubo at that point was like, I, I can't do this, this is just taking the piss now sort of deal. And then Akira Toriyama sent him words of encouragement saying that he, he read his thing. It's really good. It just needs some little tweaks. And then he'll be good to go. But... For some reason now, there's like a thing where people... At least people on Facebook, but people online are morons in the most case anyway. Like, kissed in most cases. Like, just the stupid people are the loudest. Or people who haven't read or haven't seen a certain thing will instantly, like in this case, just call you a liar. Like, oh, that didn't happen. You're a liar. What makes you lie? You're a dirty, rotten liar. Like, or you could just look online yourself. Well, speaking of Master Roshi, let's see if we can't... Um, okay, let's beat up the villainous person first. Actually, let's... Um, Let's get some whatevers off Roshi first. Oh, 13 D medals, out of boy. Later! Oh, we got three more. Six more. Ah, oh, come on, Roshi boy. There we go, right. We got quite a few D medals. Uh, 34. Uh, I'm not going to buy any of those. Because um, my goal, at the bare minimum, is to. Where's the villain? Oh, there he is. Is to use those D medals to get a uh, an improved version of the spirit bomb. There we go. Yeah, I have such a nearly ten levels on these guys. I was going to say it's such a massive level advantage because you wonder where that sentence was going and it never finished. So I won't even respect you enough to go into Super Saiyan, you punk. That's explain to you. There you go. S rank that bad boy. Well, I thought you got an achievement for finishing your first villain this fight. But defeating your first villainous enemy. Oh, what? Oh, damn. It's got the same level as me. More or less. Bam! Take that, punk. Oh, that was close. How about you stop and let me move? Come on, here you go. Okay. Wrong attack. There, there's one done. 
speed up a smidge on ya. Oh my god, these guys are strong. Like, I know they want. Oh, this guy's in a higher level than me! I know, like, we are comparable in levels, but I am a goddamn Super Saiyan 2. What is this? They embarrass me by giving me an A. They would dare embarrass me with that poor, pathetic performance. Search so for minerals on the sea floor. Yeah, just to be clear, I'm skipping the dialogue when, um, for one, I have to read it in this case. Because, like, this is essentially in-game filler. And I am not here for the in-game filler. I am here for the main story. So, if that upsets you, I unlucky, basically, because I'm pretty sure this is the last time you have to do it. And if you want to see that stuff, I probably read it in my original playthrough anyway, so you can just see it there. Regular power or the unlimited kind? Where are you? I'm guessing. Oh god, I gotta go inside right here. Well, oh, apparently not. What says minerals? I'm, am I not supposed to be looking around in this ship? Ah, what's that? Come on, what are you? A rain... Ah! I knew it. Oh, I was all that. Two commies look out! Yeah, because, you know, I just want to get on with the story. Just like I say, if this... If me uh, glossing over this sort of stuff bothers you... Control the batteries a little. If this sort of stuff bothers you... I do apologise, but I'm not changing it, basically. Because I've already done it... Three times, or two times. I'm going to plug in my charger, so I'll stop talking for a moment. And I'm back! Oh, <laughs> he's back as well, look. There we go. So, I believe this is to level up the Dragon Balls, is it not? To level 3. By level 3, I mean so that you can get free wishes from the Dragon Balls. And it's all done. There we go. Shenron, boy! Sharon loves food. I uh, need a good level 20 god power, which makes sense. Hey! You can edit your part, you know. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm fine for that, though. We're gonna get right into it and just start the next Tenkaichi Budokai. Because the sooner I get to see Goku go Super Saiyan 3, the better. I'm not sure if we can get that far today, because we'd have to do the we'd have to do the tournament. We would have to uh, uh, do the, we'd have to do the initial tournament. Spobovich would have to steal enough power, take it to Bobby. Um, well, not enough, almost enough power. Then Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta would have to chase after and defeat Yakon and the other guys whose names I can't remember. Well, Deborah and the other one whose name I can't remember. Then we'd have to do the Margin Vegeta fight. Um, Vegeta would then have to fight Buu and sacrifice himself. Then Goku would have to distract Buu while Trunks goes to get the Dragon Raider, I believe it is. And that's when we get the Super Saiyan 3 uh, transformation. So I don't think we'll get that today. In tomorrow's stream, though, we'll probably get to see that. Cause we oh, actually, we're only 20 minutes in. Maybe we will get to see Super Saiyan 3. Oh, 
Oh, we got to do the whole Great Saiyaman section first as well. Alright, so maybe uh, definitely won't be seeing it today. Yeah, I know, right, Gohan? School is just so phenomenal. Hey, half a million more or less experience. Got another free D medals. Hopefully we can get the, uh, if not the ultimate spirit bomb, but a more advanced version of the spirit bomb for Goku, ready for the Kid Buu fight. And like the ultimate Kamehameha or something. Yeah, the fools! I never grow complacent, me. <laughs> the Great Saiyaman! That's cool. That's really cool. Margin Boo Reborn. Optical store, so I need to go. Honestly, Hercule is lucky that the Saiyans like, really don't care and are just so chill about that sort of thing. Because let's be fair, if it was Chi Chi or Bulma who defeated Cell, they would not allow him to keep the credit for that. <laughs> because Chi Chi wants that money. You okay? Well, last I seen on my phone, it was raining, according to the weather app. Anyway, I will have a gander now. The Golden Fighter. Bless you. Well, one o'clock has a twenty-four percent rain coverage. Twelve o'clock has eighty-two. 2 o'clock has 24, and then 3 o'clock has 78. So, the most logical time to be to go for a run would be between 1 and 2. Yeah, that's true. There's no guarantee that it's consistent. Or that it won't be updated and... Oh, you can't fly in the city, but you can't jump over the buildings, because that's not uh, suspicious at all. Ah, oh, hello there, eraser and sharpener. Well, considering her name is Devil Rearranged, and her father's name is Satan. D-E-V-I-L. Devil. I can't remember which Dragon Ball Z game was. I think it was uh, Battle of Z. Where in that one, they introduced the mechanic of like fighting goons. It was a cool idea, but if I remember correctly, it was also a ball ache. Like, when you're on planet Namek and you're fighting Freezer's henchmen before you fight Freezer, I'm pretty sure you had to like defeat 100 or 50 just Freezer goons before you could carry on with the story. Sharpener. All right, my guy, you just met me. If you can hit a ball, you can defeat a criminal. Everyone knows that. So 
This is a new manga series out now, and it is called Blade of the Moon Princess. And it's by the... Um, from the creator of Spy X Family. There's only three chapters in. When there's a bit more chapters, I might give that a bash. I've never read Spy X Family, but I know it's very popular right now. But as of the moment, I'm on uh, chapter 318 of Bleach, 94 of Jujutsu Kaisen, and 106 of Rurouni Kenshin. And I'm up to date on Boruto and Dragon Ball Super, and I think in like two days, the new chapters come out. Yeah, two days. I'm also currently reading... Uh, I've started reading not all of Dragon Ball Z, but I will be continuing reading all of it. I'm on the final book of the full colour, which I need to purchase. And I'm currently reading volume 19 of Dragon Ball. So I've, I've got with me 18, 19 and 25 and 26. Um, which is the uh, the ending. So Goku versus Cell as well as Gohan versus Cell. And then it's uh, the Kid Buu and um, Vegito section. From Vegito through, basically. But it's not from Vegito. Is it from Vegito? Or is it? No, it's just before. I don't think it's... It might be Ultimate Gohan onwards, but I'm not sure. It might be af just after Ultimate Gohan's absorbed. But I'm also on chap uh, volume 21 of Hunter x Hunter. And I just read volume 19 of Nura Rise of the Yokai Clan. So I need to uh, pick up 20 at least. Uh, it doesn't matter how well I do here. Play ball! Great! 19,261 miles. I think that said miles anyway. I didn't get to see, or maybe kilometers. <laughs> You'd have to just bunt all the time, my guy. Sorry, if I move my hands or the wire slightly too much, it just turns off the controller. Wow, that's a lot of experience. That's for going. To I wish I got that much experience when I went to school. Look at that. One day in school, and he gets over 350,000 experience. Bulma! Where are you, Bulma? Are you in your lab over here? Mr. Briefs? Bulma, I hope you don't mind me stealing five of your eggs. You don't mind? Well, I'm gonna take six more. You still not bothered? Well, I'm gonna take another six eggs then. Right, where, where is Bulma? Oh, there she is. The first place I looked, I just didn't look thoroughly. Yes, exactly. That is exactly the situation. <laughs> Very humble as well. For a genius like you. guy's bag just kind of had a heart attack then. <laughs> I would say he needs to get stronger than Goten first, but Trunks is consistently stronger than Goten. But only just about.
All right. Let's roll. What was that again? Hey, look at that. Same mindset. There we go. Just now, little man. Did you? So that uh, sequence is an absolute ball ache in Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury. Because you actually have to chase Vegeta around trying to punch him. <laughs> I do love this design as well for Vegeta when he's just got the blue... Um, I'm not sure if it's trousers and vest or if it's like a... a you know... Not a onesie, but you know, an all-in-one. What would you call it? I can't remember what they're called. One piece, I guess. Unless he were to activate the Saiyan of Supers. Hi, Vegeta. I'll shove the burp in for I can't remember which one you say if, if, when you burp. So I thought I'd specify so. Oh yeah, looking spiffing there, my man. <laughs> you say that now. I've read Dragon Ball Super. Please, Chi Chi. But uh, aeroplanes need to watch out for Go Ten. A uh, uh, Go Han, even. Sedex has read in his name then. Eh, no one would suspect a superhero. No one suspect you are a superhero, I suppose. Oh, you have no apples for me. Alright, where's... Uh... Alright, it's in this area. Oh. Can you imagine, like... When you think of it logically, Gohan is flying through a tree, arms wide out, and just like grabbing peaches off the tree and shit. And grabbing the apples. It's like, oh yeah, I love that, I love that. Right. While we're at it, um, I'll see if I can't fly into a few more people and beat some ass while we're here. Oh no, this guy's my level. What's wrong, friends? Hey. Let's line up this shot with this dickhead. You would dare attack me, the great Saiyan man?
these absolute scoundrels, how dare they? Right, let's be on our way. So if it's a robot, the robot is closer to my level and I can't just fly and take it out. You do get an achievement though if you um, take out 50 enemies by flying into them without, kill without fighting them. I think it's 50. Ah, well it is a superb apple after all. Maybe, but we'll never know, because we're going to go fly into this robot. I just realized at the last second it was the robot. Okay, good. Ha <laughs> ha! You're all a bunch of losers! Flying into my Kamehameha like that. What's wrong with you? Oh my god, I can do bejazzlements. Alright, so one of them is tough and the other one's a cinch. If only I knew which one was which. But someone's firing a gun, Gohan. Still want more? We ain't done yet. Come pick that guy's gun girl. is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. She really is pretty strong. Gotta be way stronger than her dad. It's Come weird how on, different the world of Don't Dragon Ball is between already. Dragon Ball and Z. Because in uh, Dragon Ball Z, little? Goku being as powerful as he is is like uh, weird, uh, and people are intimidated by it. But then in Dragon Ball, Goku flies around on mm -hmm. his cloud in front of people and Me? turns into I'm a giant monkey during a martial Defender arts tournament. And like just punches people through the moon out like something stupid, you know. And no one bats an eye about it being abnormal. Nailed it. Those two hours of practice last night paid off. Ah. Lame. I see you were around the Ginyu Force a little bit too much on that, Mr. Uh, Gohan. Now then, Videl, let's apprehend these fiends. He knows my name? I knew it! There's no way in hell I'm letting this bozo take me in. And now I'll chuck my capsules and... <laughs> the size Brutus on that guy. guy's gun Blood is so ridiculous. Yeah, he's I suppose if he holds it in two hands, it doesn't look Fools. so bad. Justice will always prevail! <laughs> Fools! Go, Han. Yeah, but you're the daughter of the man that this city is named after. I'm sure half of the people here know your name. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit anyway? To hide his identity. You already well, discussed that. 
My friends and family just want to live normal lives. I was told to hide my strength, so... Hmm. Uh, uh, um... Please don't tell anyone about this. You know, the World Tournament's in about a month. You're going to enter, right? What? The World Tournament? The Tenkaichi you know it? Budokai. It's a competition to determine the best fighter. They're bringing it back. My dad's the previous champion, and before him, it was some mysterious guy named Goku. Huh. His name's kind of similar to yours. And it's probably not just a coincidence either. No? Huh? You know, I bet that Goku guy is your dad. No, I got it. Am I right? Huh? Well, uh... Jeez, this girl sure is smart as a whip. That's what I thought. I like Fidel. So, what do you say? A cool character. You're gonna enter the world tournament, right? She's kind of like the new version uh, of Chi Chi, well, really, no. in terms of, stay out of that. how she is and, like, really you know, the prestige also, because like Chi Chi anyway. was the daughter and still is the daughter. In that of, um, if you don't enter, the I'm gonna King. tell everyone that you're the great Saiyan. And obviously she's the daughter of Hercule, which is also someone who is oh, revered for on. his strength, but Ox King we have a deal? is uh, great no more legitimate. Although it is, like, if you look into the lore and stuff, apparently Fine. Hercule is actually I'll strong. He's just tournament. a human. He won the Fine. martial arts tournament so. fair and square. Some in a year where the competition was weaker. So it's not like he's really a faker and he's now. like, you know, Did just see this pretending to be strong. As a human, Look, he's very strong. He's probably school. nowhere near like Roshi. Well, there's no point. Well, I guess Yamcha we can say as well, but Krillin and Tien are way above Roshi at this point. Like Videla also enters the twenty third Tenkaichi Budokai and fights Goku. Fights is a very generous uh, assessment of that battle. I think Goku punches the air and sends a gust of wind and KO well not KOs but knocks her out of bounds in one hit. Or lack thereof, I suppose. What you need is a do rag, that'll solve your problems. It almost feels like Akira Toriyama like, got into Spider-Man or something at this point and that's why Gohan is going to school and he's got his Mary Jane and he has to uh, like you know go back and forth between his costume after school and before school. It might have nothing to do with Spider-Man but that feels like a pretty um, Pretty good guess for what superhero he could be based off. There could also just be some Japanese cartoon or like um, show like Power Rangers or the, the Japanese version because it's not called Power Rangers over there. Could be something like that that he's based off, and just something I've never heard of. What's that? I don't know. What is it? Whoa. Boom boom. Oh, it's launch. It is indeed. Causing us mischief and nonsense, probably. It's weird that Gohan's voice is also Aizen from Bleach, and Aizen's voice is so, like, just deadpan and emotionless. And this version of Gohan is very much emotional. He's, like, he's angry at times. 
he's being a goofball and being silly now. He's all like happy and stuff at certain points as well. I am a defender of justice after all. Or something like that. Told you. Told you. I'd rather we just went straight into the martial arts tournament, really. Yeah. Oh, no! And by monsters, do you mean big robots? Well then, Gohan. Where are we? God, why do, like, I, it does kind of bug me that this game makes you fast travel back and forth, back and forth all the time. Would have been so much better if when I'm about to like fly over to Bulma, I bump into launch or something. Those. Where are you, Tien's farm? Right, that looks like one of them robots we're ignoring. Bam! I'm just gonna listen out for Gohan's like audio cues, really. Save me! <laughs> well, I took out a few of them, got some easy experience and orbs. Oh, Cybermen! Alright, they're actually monsters. Oh, give him the business, Gohan. Oh, give him one more round. The defender of justice. Here I go. Oh shit, this guy's level 59. <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 is a proper drain on your key. So probably do Kamehameha's less often and just beat the shit into them a bit more. Oh, there's the first one down. Yeah, like until I can get to level 60 or whatever, no, level 70, and reduce the key drain for Kame uh, for Super Saiyan 2, I do have to be a lot more uh, selective of when I do Kamehameha. Like now I can do it again. Because he'll die. 19,000. Most guys are level 59. What a rip off. It's okay, my man. 
money, lots and lots of money. Do you happen to have like 4 million experience I can have? I took care of them. Oh, well, did they accidentally plant Cybermen? Quickly, cover the vegetables. You don't have sneezing all over them. Yes, yes I would. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. At least I didn't have to actually go picking vegetables. restaurant Gohan hasn't got a restaurant does he? 